What's up guys, JR Raymond back again, coming to you from MRB Classic Pro Shop. And today, we're just gonna talk about that quick tip. We're just gonna give you a quick tip on just sanding your bowling ball or changing the surface of somebody's bowling ball. It doesn't have to be yours, it could be anybody. As a customer comes up and says, hey, you know, I want this ball to be uh, at this surface, blah, blah, blah. That's what we're gonna do. So say that person, they say, okay, I wanna take it to 2000. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're obviously, we're gonna start at a little bit lower grip. So this, for this example, we're just gonna start at 1000 and then we're gonna go up to uh, up to the 2000. So we're gonna take a thousand grip pad here and clean that off a little bit. And it's always nice, obviously, you wanna you know use fresh pads if you can. Uh, I prefer the true cut pads from creating the difference, but if you just have Aberlon, that works too. Uh, and all we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna do this really wet, okay? You need to make sure the ball is, is nice and wet because uh, we want to, make it a nice smooth surface, a nice clean surface. And we're gonna start at a lower speed. If you don't have more than one speed on your on your uh, spinner, that's okay. Just do it at one speed. So we're gonna take this down to 1,000 first, and then we'll take it back up to 2,000, okay? So all you're gonna do is we're gonna do four sides. So I'm only gonna do this real quick. So we'll call that one there, dry it off, quit. And see, even for those few seconds, it hit the ball pretty good. Okay, and we're gonna flip into the exact opposite side. Same thing, get the ball super wet, nice and wet. Spin it up, just for a couple seconds. I mean, you can do it for as long as you want, but I only recommend, you know, doing it for, you know, 10 or 15 seconds, just to make sure you're touching the entire surface of the ball. Dry it off, okay. So now we got that. So we've done both sides. Now we need to do the fourth side. So we've done front and back. We're going to do four sided. Now we're going to go side to side. Okay. Same type of thing. And this is just to make sure we touch every portion of the ball. Some people like to do just side to side doing each side because it goes with the grain. Basically you're creating a grain. So I'll explain that here in a second. So we got that done. Try that off. Some people like just doing the side. What I mean is just going this way with the fingers and the thumb because the ball technically rolls like this and they like to see, you know, that grit going that way. But I like to actually do it both ways because then you get grit sideways and forward. forward. So now we're going to finish on the other side. And do the fourth side. Nice slow speed again. Quick there, go, dry her off. Okay, so now we had a bowling ball technically at 1,000, okay, or whatever was underneath it, probably takes it, changes a little bit. Now we wanna go back up to 2,000. So we're gonna go back here. We're gonna find a 2,000 pad. We'll use this one, it's old and beat up, but that's okay. Gives you the right idea, we'll pretend. 2,000 it is. We're gonna go at a higher speed. As you're using a higher grip, just go up. Don't I, I really don't have a uh, theory behind my higher speed. I just know the higher speed makes it smoother. If you go slower, it actually the grit takes over just a little bit more and you start to see more lines in it. So you put some lines in it to start and then you kind of smooth it out at the end. So now we got that, dry it off. how much smoother it is there now. Now you don't really see those lines in it anymore. So we'll go back to the other side. Again, four way, We're doing it four ways again. side and she'll be good to go Now 
we just take her off the spinner, dry off. Now you can see how clean and fresh that cover looks. You can even see that little bit of a sheen on it from the Aberlon pad. So um, there is a difference. If you were to, if you, there's a difference between spinning the ball and actually doing it by hand. When you do it by hand, you're, I feel like you're cutting it just a little bit more and it's gonna leave it duller. And when you spin it, you're doing it wet and you start to see a little bit more sheen on it, a little bit shine, so it's a different surface. So when you're out bowling, and somebody's out bowling and you change the surface, you're gonna see earlier hook by changing it by hand, and then when you spin it, you're actually gonna smooth the reaction out. So but that's all I got for you. I just wanna make sure and show you how I uh, actually change surfaces on bowling balls. I do four corners, four sides, four quadrants, I guess you would say, of the bowling ball, and I go from a lower grip back up to whatever surface that I want. And if I'm going down, uh, I generally just go down straight to whatever cut that I want. So anyway, that's all I got. Just wanted to give you that quick tip, but uh, that's what I'm, uh, I'm out of here. We'll see you guys later for next time. Make sure to subscribe, tune in, and we will see you guys later. Take care.